Okay, so they've come out with a new MAME version 175, and I wasn't going to bother doing a video about it, except for the fact that I already have a lot of MAME related videos on my channel, and I'm worried people might be like, you know, let's say they look at this video, for example, and it says, you know, all the MAME settings that work, simple copy and paste, and they think that's great, and they go to get the latest MAME, and I even got a link here and everything, but it takes you to this page and it links to this new 175 version and these settings were for the 174, 173, and 172 versions they've made a little change right so I don't want people to get confused so I figured out really quickly I'm just gonna kinda run through a video um, that is specifically for the latest latest version as of now main version 175 and we'll just see how quickly and easy that is to set up and get working just great so if you click this little link that I provide, and I guess I'll provide it under this video as well, it's going to start a download for the latest version, 175. It's actually basically just pulling from here. And whenever they change this to version 176 in the future, the same old link will also take you to, you know, version 176, or, you know, it's always going to update itself, basically, as long as this homepage website is around. So it's taken you know a couple seconds to get it going, and while it's downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and get prep uh, prepared a little bit for it. Now on my desktop, I have Mame UI64 version 174. That's my old version, my current version, and I'm downloading. It's gonna say Mame UI64. It's gonna be 175, but it's just gonna be called Mame UI64. So before you start the download to upgrade to 175 if you already have an older version of MAME somewhere on your desktop and it's just called MAME UI64 be prepared because it's the new one's going to want to overwrite or integrate with the old one kind of thing so you don't want that so just rename your old one to whatever you want to call it and I just renamed my old one to version 174 okay so now the new one's done it's finished so I'm going to go ahead and close the internet browser and extract it Okay, now it's going to, like I said, be extracted to a folder just called MAMUI64, but it's version 175. Yeah. So after it's done, just so that it's not confusing, I'm going to go ahead and rename it to MAMUI64 version 175. Okay. And I don't need the compressed mm -hmm. file anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. All right, so let's go ahead and begin a first setup here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and have two open. The one on the left side is going to be my old current one, and the one on the right side is going to be the new 175. Okay. Mm. All right. First thing I'm going to do is just copy all the artwork over. Really easy. Now the files it's asking about, you know, with the same name, those are generic things like your aperture.png and stuff. Now normally you can say, yeah, just copy over everything. But every now and then when they make a new version of MAME, they improve some of their default stuff that they package in. So I'm just going to say skip and keep the new stuff. I just want to copy over what it's lacking, but I don't want to overwrite the new things. Okay. Now what we're going to do is the one called uh, config. See all these? These are all my controller configurations. So I don't have to set up my buttons every time I go into the game again. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. Copy my config over. That's just the directory dot text. Not worry about that. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm not worried about icons. Um, I want to get my snapshots in there. Okay. Okay. And do I really need anything else? Main user interface configuration settings. I think I could copy those in as well. But right before I do, actually, I'm going to run it once so that it'll generate its own any file. So let's go into its any folder. Go into the old any folder. It's got a user interface config. I can copy that over. Presets. It has all this crap. I don't. I'm not the kind of guy who likes that. I like to keep mine more simple. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this crap. Okay. And instead of just copying over my main any, 
I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, generate one of its own because there is just a little bit of change in the new any. So I'm going to let it run once. It takes a little while to load up MAME on the first go, so even though I clicked it, it's going to be a second before the window appears, but you just got to be patient. <clears throat> but it's coming. Come on. All right. Now, all I'm really going to do right now is try to make its own MAME any. So I'll go to default game options and start setting that stuff up the way I like it really fast. Direct 3D mode. And then uh, pause brightness full. And uh, let's see. Triple buffering says no screen tear. And then um, I think all this is pretty much default. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be all default. Miscellaneous. I like to have 1920 by 1080 screenshots. Okay. And skip game info and turn off the sleep. And I think this should be pretty good. Alright, so hit apply. Okay. Now it should have its own main mini. So we'll go into our any folder here. And I'll minimize this for now. And presets. See, now it has a main mini going to go ahead and open up. This is the 175 version any. Over here is going to be my old current 174 any. Now a lot of it's the same but there's going to be two changes. One, if you go down to where you say core vector options before and then you go look at the new section for core vector options you can see that it's a little bit different. They've removed a line called anti-alias. That line is no longer there so let's keep that in mind. All right. The next thing that's going to be different, if you go all the way down to the vector post processing options, and then in the new version, they've added a line, vector beam smooth. So keep that in mind. Right. So I'm going to actually just copy this real quick. Okay. And uh, that's a line of text. So I'm going to go new text. Uh huh. And then just go in here and paste that in. Okay. Move it out of the way for now. Okay. Oops, wrong one. What's wrong one? This one. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to select everything from my old one that already has settings that I like. Copy it. Select everything in the new one. And paste over. Let it all overwrite. But then it needs this line, vector beam smooth, in the new version. So we're going to copy that line and add that line in right here where it's supposed to go. Okay. Vector beam smooth. And then the last thing was up here where it says core vector options near the top. Um, there it is. Anti-aliasing was removed in 175. So let's go ahead and take that out. There we go. And that easy. File, save, close. Now we have our new MAME any for HLSO. Okay. Now I also had one for vector. I called it Star Wars any because that's the only vector our game I have. Okay, let's go ahead and copy that over. All right, but in 175, remember we need to change those two things. So for my old vector any, I'm going to get rid of that anti-aliasing line because it's not there anymore. I'm going to come all the way down and add in the smooth one or whatever it's called. I think it's called Vector Beam Smooth. Let's make sure. Uh, yeah, Vector Beam Smooth. Whoa! Don't grab my arm, buddy. I'm doing a video. <laughs> my kid just yanked on my arm really hard. Copy that. Add that in right there. Paste. Save it. File. Save. Close. There we go. All that stuff's ready to go. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to copy over the user interface thing down there. So, MAME UI, this says compiled, this says configuration settings. Copy this over. There we go, that should work. And then again, in any to double check, looks the same, and looks the same. Except for that, I have a backup in this one, I don't need the backup in the new one. Alright, now I need to copy over the ROMs, I need some ROMs. So, ROMs folder, copy that over here, it's going to take a little while because it's a lot of ROMs. I don't have that many ROMs compared to most people though. 
I don't like. I don't believe in having more ROMs than I'm ever gonna play. You know, I don't want ROMs for games that I'm never gonna feel like playing. So there we go. That's all our ROMs. So I can close the old one. All right. <clears throat> this is our new one. And I'm gonna give myself the background image, my old trusty background. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, resize it a bit here. About like that. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up some things the way I like them. So the color of the text kind of end up usually going with kind of a light blue. Okay. And bold, hit OK. And then I like doing. What else do I like doing? Was there anything else in there? Yeah, that was it in that one. Options, and then interface options. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. No offset, I don't want the offsets. Border color, I just like black. Okay. It didn't change. Oh, it did change my border color. All right. Um. All right. So now to get the games I want to get this list to look right. All right. What I like to do is just start to find my games. Like my first game is gonna be Alien vs Predator. A B S P. So you can use this little search box. Comes in handy. All right. So then there's my Alien vs Predator. I'm gonna put that in my custom. Okay. Next game I have is Altered Beast. Here it is, Altered Beast Custom. Next game I have is. What is the next game I have? You know what would be easier? <laughs> Open up my old meme, put it side by side. There we go. So now I can actually see the games I had. You know what I mean? See over here, it's called Cyber Sled, Cyber Sled. Okay. Now I know this takes a little while. But it's actually faster, unless you have a lot of games, this is actually a faster way to do it than to have it do an audit all games, okay? Now to save time, instead of showing you me do this entire process, I'm just going to edit out uh, the process until I get done. So, But I'm just doing the same thing, okay? Like the next game is going to be Galaga and Galaga 88, so just Galaga... And then Galaga 88's in there as well. These are just games I, I already know I have. Instead of having it search, you know what I'm saying? It's just easier for me to just manually type in and drag them into a custom folder. And when I'm done, you'll see all my games will be nice and neat in the custom folder. And then, uh, you know, that, that'll be how it... But I'm going to edit that out for time. Okay, so now I'm finished. I've copied over all the ROMs I have into a custom folder. So now, if I go to my custom folder, I'll see all my ROMs, except for i got to clear out this search thing, so it's blank. Boom, there's all my ROMs. Okay. And then also, I like to turn off some of this mess. You see all this mess up here? And to do that, all you got to do is just kind of like, hmm, what do I like to keep? I don't need most of this crap. Move. Move. Directory I like to keep. Okay. There. See how much cleaner that is now? Okay. So this looks pretty good now. So we got all our games in here. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and see what this new raster setting is all about. Go to the new settings. Here it is, vector beam smooth them out. Alright, crank it up. I don't see any difference. I see zero difference whatsoever. Well that was lame. So the upgrade to MAME 175 has added in vector beam smooth and yet 
changing the values on vector beam smooth do not seem to do anything visibly noticeable but anyways there you go that's how you set it up my settings my controls are pretty shitty look at the return to center how slow it is that's my fault I never set it up right anyways let's see if old games still play fine so I'll go to like Street Fighter Alpha 2 or something alright just testing out a normal game to see if it seems any different in version 175 real quick and to see if my buttons remain set up properly or not because remember I dragged that config folder over so I haven't actually hit tab and gone through and set up my controls so let's just see if they're all if it still remembers them all so far so good yep ow come on come at me relento kind of let myself get caught by that on purpose. <laughs> wanted to see if I could alpha counter it when the string came out like that, but it didn't seem to work. I guess you can't alpha counter the string. I've alpha countered supers before, but never successfully alpha countered that one, so I wanted to see if I could. I don't think you can. You ain't gonna get me with a string that time, buddy. Well, looks like normal games still work the same. The HLSL looks the same. That method of copying over and then just taking into account those two different settings with the, the vector any aliasing removed and changed into a new line down at the bottom for vector smooth, which doesn't seem to visually do anything. But there's your MAME 175. Basically the same thing, really.